I don't know about you guys, but this household is rejoicing in the yes. name of the Lord Thank because you, Lord. the capital, the eternal yes. capital for 3,000 years has been recognized President by Trump. who? The United States, by President Trump. President Trump, I salute you. Amen. I mean, I have so much admiration for this guy that he stands for truth. And Amen. no matter what the Arabs will say, there is no fear of yes. man. I see such boldness and he is a model for all Christians to follow. That there this is no fear word. of man. This no is fear such of man. a good word, Noam. And I was thinking about this today. We were right before Hanukkah. By the way, it's not only the Arabs. It's, it's Christian churches too that are standing against this. Right, it's right. Christians that are standing, they call Christians that are standing against this too. If you're not aligned with the Word of God, you're not on the Word of God. You're off on another path. It's as simple as that. I don't know who you're following, but you're not following the Word, and the Word is Yeshua, the Holy One of Israel. And there are also Jews in Israel yes. that are against it because they are left-wing. They want peace with the Arabs no matter what, but it's on the expense of our values, of our beliefs. Yes. Can we pay that price for peace? Because it is false peace. Yes. You cannot divide and no matter what happens. Yeah. Israel is eternal. It's an eternal city. In fact, we're coming back to the eternal city. We're coming yes. back. Now listen up. This is something I think is really important. I'm just walking around the house and I'm rejoicing in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But Hanukkah is coming up. What does that mean? What was Hanukkah all about? You know, some say the, the oil and the menorah, but taking and taking back mm -hmm. the temple from the the wicked one Antiochus. But what did the Maccabees stand for? What did the Maccabees they stood against, they stood for God's word, but they stood against Hellenizing. Even their own some of their own people begin to Hellenize, begin to want to be like the Greeks, take on the Greeks, pagans, come against from the holy scrolls of God. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, we are in that season right now. It is making your choice. Either you stand with the Word of God or you're going to be philosophical and go the liberal left way that is so standing against the Holy One, yeah. against the Scriptures, against everything that Yeshua uh -huh. died for. He died for us to know truth because He is truth. Yeah. So that we can be set in that alignment with Him. And it's not enough that we know the truth, we need to make a stand. Amen. No, As Christians and Jews, we have to make a stand for our beliefs. And Hanukkah is about the establishment of the light of the Lord yes. in Jerusalem, in Israel. And that yes. is what actually Trump is doing, is recognizing Jerusalem as a capital. Amen. And you know, President Trump is going to be blessed. Yes. All of those who have cursed him, yes. ho, 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 hang on to your britches. Hang on to your britches because you're going to watch and see what's going to happen. Even if they don't get anything, sometimes we don't get everything. It doesn't matter. So long, so long as those who bless Israel will be blessed. And for those who say this is going to cause trouble, there's always been trouble. You can't make peace when the enemy hates you. You can't make peace when he says he's going to destroy you. So get out of your philosophical humanistic left-wing attitude either you're in or you're out and you cannot live with the fear of what the arabs do what their reaction will be because many jews in israel now fear oh what the arabs react to what but there are arabs who stand with israel who want to be israeli who do not want to come under a corrupt system because they know truth and they know where true democracy is where you can walk in freedom. Yes. So I'm saying to every one of you, this Hanukkah is so powerful in the spirit. And I'm speaking to pastors. If you're listening to this, pastors, yes. get up and get into what Yeshua walked into. He walked into the temple court. Uh, he walked into the temple court in John chapter 10. Why did he go there? There's a reason. Hello. Why are we right now before Hanukkah? There's a reason. So I'm praying for brothers and sisters. If you're on the other side, you better run like mad to get on the right side. You better run. And President Trump actually showed all Christians what it means to be grafted into the natural olive tree. Yes. That you stand with Israel. 
And you know what's best for Israel, that Jerusalem is the capital and recognize it as such. Amen. Amen, Mr. Cohen. Thank you, my dear. And you were born in the capital city. Yes, thank you, Lord. And so I we're going to stand, we're going to shout, we're going to declare. And if anybody wants to write anything bad stuff, it's just going to float off our ducks. Like, what is that duck? Like, off, float off point. the backs like duck or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't care. It's not going to bother yes. me. Because as long as I'm alive, and as long as this man is alive, we're going to speak truth to you and challenge you. Yes. And even if we have to provoke you, we'll do it. To make a stand. To make it's a stand. It's crucial that we make a stand. Otherwise, our walk of faith has no depths in Yeshua's name. I love you, Mr. Amen. Cohen. Love you guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.